a step. I know it's been a minute. I haven't made any videos, but I've been busy. I'm not gonna explain why, but actually I will. It's it's been school and then the new job. I've been learning a lot, so it's it's been it's been a bit difficult. But um, honestly, I haven't had much of a content to create for you guys. I didn't want you to be bored. So this video is gonna be very boring. If you guys are expecting some kind of a weird installation or some sort of Mark Seven wizardy wizardry, if I'm saying that correctly, it's not gonna happen in this video. I'm just gonna talk a little bit. And actually, what I want to talk to you guys about is a little bit about the channel and a little bit about what it is to drive a Mark Seven GTI with the cow look. And what I mean by the cow look is, if you saw the previous video that I created. I did like a little um, Arctic Camel wrap on the car and it's really interesting. Um, the reason why I say that is because you get so many different expressions from people that see the car. You get the looks of like, what the fuck are you think? Sorry, YouTube, don't demonetize this video. But you get looks like, what were you, what are you thinking? What, why are you doing to this your car? to the looks of people just like pointing in amazement and then also, also you've had, you have the reactions of younger kids that just love it they i mean to them i think why they like it is because they're still young you know and they're like in this like gi joe mentality maybe i don't know like the camouflage and stuff like that so they like it and you can see them just going like they're just like pointing in amazement and it's like and like getting their friends, hey, look at this car, or whatever. So you have that, and it's it's really fun to see those expressions. And also, there's a lot of people that will just like park next to you in a stoplight, or, sorry, in a stoplight, and they'll realize what they're looking at, and then they'll take out their phone and start taking pictures, which is awesome. I really love that. Um, honestly, I did this for attention. I wanted my channel to get a little bit more attention and stuff like that or the car to get a little more attention but um, it's it's not perfect I, I did mess up a few things I didn't clean the paint very well so there's some uh, like little bubbles here and there where like uh, stuff stuff was uh, on the paint I didn't clay bar and I should have clay barred the paint so but that, that's all right uh, you can't see it unless you actually really 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 like look into it and really stare there were a few pieces where when I washed the car last weekend because it was too cold and I think with the cold water the wrap became very like fragile so when I was wiping it down some of the pieces broke off at the edges so I had to take some pieces out but that's fine but overall it is getting the impression that I was hoping it will get um, again people love it uh, people enjoy it to be honest and then you have the people, obviously, the ones that hate it, and the ones that just shake their head, like, what the hell were you thinking, kid? But that's, that's okay, that's, you know, that's, it's not concerning to me, um, this is gonna stay on the, here for a few more months, I wanna go to a car meet with this, so I can get a little more attention, and then it's gonna come off. So what's next? What am I gonna do next with the car? What I wanna do is actually, when I peel off the wrap, I wanna make sure that none of the clear coat got taken off, which I don't think it will, to be honest. I use quality wrap so that should be fine. I just gotta make sure I use the heat gun to kind of make the wrap a lot easier to take off. And after that, I'm actually gonna fully detail the car. I'm debating if I wanna make a video. There's like a gazillion videos out there for that, but I think I might. Uh, I don't see a problem with it. Um, what my plan is to actually detail the car fully. So I'm gonna go from the basic wash to clay barring to polishing etc and after that i want to ceramic coat the car uh, i want to make it shiny and i want to protect the shininess and also ceramic coating is uh, a thing that i've been very interested in uh, i don't know if i'll personally do the whole process myself i don't have the tools for that and i might pay someone to do it but i'll see i, I kind of don't like to leave my car with someone for like two days during the weekend when it's when is the best time to uh you know to drive the car and I don't want to be without it for the whole weekend um, so we'll see how it goes I might do actually I mean I will be without the car for the whole weekend even, even if I do it myself because this is gonna be a two-day process so I want to see what my options are and uh, 
we'll see if I buy like the, the detailing products and all the equipment and stuff like that. That will cost me about the same amount as it'll cost me to have this done. But I'm gonna have the, the equipment left over, like the spray, the foam cannon, etc. etc. I'll have that left afterwards for future washes. So it's a give or take. I'm gonna have to think about that. And then another thing I want to talk to you guys about is the channel. The videos are still gonna be kind of sporadic. The reason why I say that is I am at the final semester of my master's degree. Uh, I'm taking two courses with a full-time job of 50 hours a week. It's a little bit tasking with me. I really don't have time to edit or actually create content. I haven't really um, talked to any manufacturers if they wanted to review any products or I haven't really thought about any other modifications I can do to this car. I will try to get a little bit more racing videos for you guys. Uh, I'm sorry for the ones that don't like racing on public roads. That's, that's a big issue and that's why I'm going to go to Mexico and go to Mexico. And those are public roads, but they're in a different country, so we're totally, totally okay. Plus, Mexico doesn't have any federales, which is what we need. We don't need federales going after us when we're street racing, right guys? So with that being said, uh, I have a few more plans for the car. I'm running out of ideas to do for the car unless, you know, I want to go more into modding it. But I like the way it sits. The car is daily drivable. Um, it's reliable, and that's a big thing. Reliability to me is a major, major thing when it comes to that or to modding your car. So I'm working with a company. I won't mention any names right now because I, I'm not sure if it's a, if it's an actual thing that's going to happen. But I'm hoping to get a carbon fiber steering wheel that's customly designed. That might give up the name actually of the company, but that's customly designed for me. So there's a few options that I'm trying to check out. Uh, you can actually cut the wheel in the middle, the top, or whatever, and make it like really sporty, or kind of like F1 wheel, steering wheel, but I'm not going to go that extreme, I'm just going to do the basic wheel with carbon fiber with like a thicker wheel. In addition to all that, I do want to lower the car a little bit, and I've looked at a lot of um, articles online about having the DCC on the, on the on this car, and I can I can go coilovers with, that are specifically designed to keep the functions of the DCC, but I don't want to do that way. I don't want to go that way. The reason why I don't want to go that way is the, the DCC is great on this car. Um, I'm totally happy with it. And I want to keep that. Um, so, so having that, the only other choice is lowering springs. And lowering springs can affect the stock shocks. But actually the VWR, I believe, lowering springs are totally fine for the DCC. They function very well. And they lower the car just a little bit. I don't want it to be super lower than what I'm scraping. I mean, I've already scraped the front, like the bottom of the front bumper. I don't want to be scraping constantly and be worried like where I'm going. So that's why usually none of my cars, honestly, have been lowered ever. I like to keep the daily drivability to an optimum as long as possible. And this is what's going to happen with this car as well. Until maybe I get a second car or like another daily. So with that being said guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please uh, please like the video, that means a lot to me. It helps me out a lot too, it gets the video out there so everyone else can see it. I'm sorry for the, the short, boring video, but there were a few things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys later. And also there's a lot more videos to come.